our, our kitchen has been taken over quite literally uh, by Senator John McCain, and, and Mrs. McCain is, is your sous chef. Um, so please explain to all of America uh, your special rub for ribs. First of all, baby back ribs. Second of all, cook slowly. Cook slowly. Cook slowly. And 90% of this cooking should be done with the bone part down because you want the heat to come up into the bone and then it cooks it from the inside out. Why do we use lemon? Because if you squeeze lemon on it while you're cooking it, it takes some of the little bit of a taste out of it that sometimes you know you get. Mm -hmm. The lemon taste it, takes the taste out, but it also keeps it moist. You don't want your ribs to dry as you cook them for Especially a long time. Especially with the rub. Time. Yes. And so lemon, you do the squeeze. Because the rub will do that. This rub is garlic powder, salt, and pepper all mixed together. And I put it into a shaker so that I, I put it on it. I keep putting it on while it's cooking. But a lot of times, I'll put that rub on a long time ahead of time, like 8, 10, 12 hours, sometimes a day ahead of time. And then you get the flavor into the ribs itself. Cook slowly. With chicken, cut the chicken in half and put it bone down. Leave it there. Let the low heat, let the heat come up into the bone and cook it again from the inside yes, sir. out. I, <laughs> I guarantee you, I guarantee you these ribs with that uh, simple seasoning and add whatever seasoning else you like to it but fundamentally one-third salt one-third pepper one-third garlic powder one-third equal amounts equal amount equal mix amounts. it up put in a little shaker cover it and don't worry about how much you can never put too much seasoning on it if you're like you and me yeah I like really things like things yeah. things and with the lemon spicy. juice it'll cut that it'll cut a lot of the is, flavor is he always this take charge <laughs> can you get him near a grill yeah, yeah exactly. right. Do you flip them over ever when it gets close to the yeah, end? Yeah, yeah. When you when you see them really cooking from the inside, then then I'm, you want to turn it for a little bit of the time so that it gets a kind of a, a the you know that nice char on, on top. Yeah, sort of like like these guys sort of like here, that is right. Right. There. Yeah. It's and how kind of long are they on the grill once? You let them I, set with the rub. At least an hour, sometimes an hour and a half. And there's finally one other thing you can do. If you want a little hickory flavor, take some uh, chips, soak them for overnight, put them in a little uh, aluminum foil, put them also on the grill, and indirectly it'll, it'll give you some flavor. The smoky some flavor, flavor will go all around yeah, it. will go all around it, too. You really want to get some I believe the man really knows the <laughs> Cindy, you have any specialties that you bring out when the ribs come off? You know, uh, you know, we just I got do. some corn and some slaw going they, for you the guys. Corn, we like, because our, our kids like to eat fresh things, so corn is one of them. The slaw is a great idea. I mean, we we also walk, or John does walk, vegetables on the grill as well. A big, Take a big onion, put a slab of lemon on it, stick it in foil, grill the onion, peel it back. It's wonderful. It's, really, it's all corn, fresh stuff. Take the, the, take the silk out, leave the husk. Yeah. You can... Uh, put it right on the grill on and the grill, cook the yeah. corn. Right well, you on said the grill. you could do a whole nutritious meal right on the grill, and you proved it.